Happy Robbie Burns Day. Friends and neighbors, John your whiskey neighbor here and welcome down the basement. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to talk to you guys, uh, but I've got a moment and I hope you've got some whiskey. On my way home, well actually after a dentist appointment, uh, I dropped into a local store and they had a number of scotches on sale. The local store for me is Wine and Beyond here in Alberta. They had several bottles that were so tempting. But they had this been happen, which I haven't had yet. They had this for $45 here in Alberta, which is a great price. This is Bunnehaven's uh, Sturadur. Is that how I say it? Sturadur. And it is a non-age stamp, but still natural color, no chill filtration, and 46.3%. I haven't had it. I've heard good things about it. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to push record on the camera and uh, share this with you guys. So, happy Robbie Burns Day. Oh, right, my microphone is here. Ooh, that wasn't a very good pop. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as I said, hope you have something. Uh, this Benhaven, of course, is an Isla Scotch. Uh, I don't know, again, non-age stamp. Uh, I know that it's first and second fill, uh, X sherry and a variety of different ages. A rumor I heard was that they were, um, looking as they were selling out selling out maybe not the right word but selling a lot of gonna have an, uh 12 that they were looking for something to get on the shelves quickly to kind of answer the interest that they're getting from their scotch so this was the result of their master blender i suppose at that point all right hope you poured something on the poet's day it's a good time to have some scotch. Let's see what we get. Ah, definite cherry influence, right? Got some cinnamon, a little bit of burnt chocolate on that one. Yeah, I actually want to say the fruits or whatever that I'm getting. This is first pour, first thoughts, not a review in any way. But it is a mix to me of sort of edge of things, right? The, crack of, of a walnut you're smelling the husk or the nut remaining um, so there's some fruit but there's a fair amount of something darker on that I like it though maybe that's a bit of the smoke coming in I don't know is there is there any no no this is nosing like non peated to me I should have looked that up I didn't it's nosing more like variety of different sherry influences and then a darkness an edge of something hmm well i'm hoping to drink something put it in the glass sancha mm -mm. nice very nice nice in the palate um not as rich in the pelt that I was expecting. The nose to me, I thought, okay, we're going to just get into some deep, some sherry notes in here. And it's there in the terms of fruit. But just in the palate for me, nice, tasty, fairly easy drinking, actually, for 46.3. But doesn't have the, the depths or the layers that my memory says. And I should have a bun of habit. I should buy another bottle. The point of this video is not in any way to really critique a bottle. It's to say... This is a great deal, and if you're in the Alberta area, I would run out if you haven't had it and buy it for that kind of price. It's a great, it's a buy now kind of price. Um, and it's got lots of good and rich and interesting things going on with first thoughts. Definitely a bit younger. Well, that's okay. Hope you guys are having fun on this uh, Robbie Burns Day that maybe you've uh, reached out. I'm actually thinking of calling someone right now and uh, seeing if they're sipping and just having a good chat. So hope you're well. Have a great day and a great week. Oh,